Hi, I am Darlene Fee, your virtual partner in Mathematics. I have an exciting program for you today as we dive into the use of the calculator to find the nth term, the sum of a sequence in an arithmetic progression. Do you know your calculator can solve all those things? Now today we are going to use the calculator to find the nth term of a sequence. We'll be using the calculator to find the sum of the terms in a sequence. You are going to enjoy this program. Please make sure you subscribe. It is free. Free, free. So just subscribe to this channel so that you keep enjoying all the episodes in this edition. We thank you so much. If you're ready, let's go. Excited to have you in this program for today. Now, today, our presentation is on arithmetic progression. How do you use the calculator to find the end term in an AP? To do that, we are going to follow this simple instruction. So the first step is that you press mode, followed by the number three and then the number two. So let's go. You press mode, and then you pick option three, and then you also pick option two. Now what this means is that option two, because A plus B, this function on the calculator simply means arithmetic progression. And because this question is an AP, so we'll pick the function for AP. That is number two. So we pick option two. Now remember, we press mood, number three, and then the option two. Then we come to this interface. What this one means, the S column is referring to the terms. And then the Y coordinate refers to the corresponding values for the term. So for example, if the first term is one, Okay, so if the first term is, let's say, 4, then you, you put 1, that's the first term, and the value for the first term is 4, so you put 4 here. If the second term is, let's say, 20, you put number 2, second term, and then the value for number 2 is 20, you put it here. Now let's go to our question. Find the 11th and the 20th terms of a linear sequence of the form 4, 9, 14, 19 etc so here our first term is 4 the second term is 9 third term is 14 the fourth term is 19 it goes on and on and on so when we come here under the first term we we'll put one here the first term and the corresponding value for the first term is 4 so under the y we we'll put 4 here the second term is 9 so under the x we we'll put 2 that's the second term and the second term, the value in the question is 9. So under the y, we are going to put 9. So what you see here, the values you are seeing here, we are going to place them under the y. And they stand for the first term, second term, third term, and then the fourth term. So under the x, we put the first term, then you press it equal to. You, can, you come again, we have second term here. So you press second term, you press it equal to. And then we also have third term here. So you press number three, and then you press it's equal to. So we have entered the first three terms. Now, because we are working in examination, you don't need to spend your time entering all these values. As a matter of fact, if you enter the first two values, you are good to go. But for the purpose of this education, I decided to enter the first three terms. Then when you are done, you use the top arrow, okay, you go up. Then when you get to the first term, we are moving to where the Y is. So use the left arrow on your calculator and you click on it. So we are back to the Y. So the first term, what is the corresponding value? In the question, the first term is four. So the first term, the value is four. So you press four and then you click on is equal to. The second term is nine. So the second term, the value is nine. Let's click 9, and then you press is equal to. And then the fourth, the third term is 14. So the third term here is 14. So we are going to press 14 on the calculator, and then you press is equal to. Please, it is important for you to note that any value that you enter on the calculator automatically gets saved on the calculator. And so the next thing is that we are going to press AC. Now, we are going to press AC because we want to clear this so we can use the next function. 
please note you only press the ac if you press any of this you are going to lose the data but because we are interested in the data that we have you only press ac relax your data is still on the calculator okay so these are the steps mode option three option two then you enter the data i have just done that then you press ac that is what i have just done now the fourth step is that you press shift and then you press one five and five so let's go you press shift then make sure the s appear here which means you have indeed pressed the shift and then we pick option one so option one now it is opening another type for you now here we are looking for we are dealing with ap that is arithmetic progression and it goes with the number five so let's press the number five so we have pressed one then you press five now what this one mean okay is that the here you see y cap y cap is asking you what term are you looking for what term are you looking for now the question says find the 11th and the 20th term now because we are look, going to look for the 11th term we have pick option number five so you press five now you see here we have y cap here indicating what term are we looking for then step five says that press the left arrow key so we want to move the cursor from this place to this place so we press the left arrow key so here we are looking for the 11 term so you enter the number 11 okay on the calculator then once we have entered 11 you press is equal to so what this is telling us is that the 11 term in this sequence is going to be 54 okay now the next one is to find the 20th term now on this same interface all you need to do is to use the left arrow so press the left arrow key it will move up and then you delete the 11 because we are done with the 11 term now we are going to look for the 20th term so you enter the number 20 and then you press is equal to so it means therefore that in this sequence the 11th term was 54 and then the um, 20th term is going to be 99 so this is the simple way of using calculator to look for ap the terms uh, the um, the steps once again we have first you press the mode then you press the number three and then the number two then you enter your data then you press the ac because your data has been stored now i can still press the ac remember my data is still on it is intact so anytime i want to access them i can access them now let's go to the next presentation so that we can see what we have now the next one the same thing we are now using our calculator to find some other things so let's go so question two the six and the 11 terms of an ap are respectively 23 and 48 a determine the 20th term and then b if the nth term is 223 find the nth term and then option c calculate the sum of the first 20 terms now we should be able to use the capital functions to determine this so we have done this before now look at this question you said the 6 and the 11 terms are 23 and 48 which means the sixth term correspond with 23 and then the 11th term correspond with 48 so we go through the process once again first let me clear what i did earlier so that we can have this particular um, um question well solved so let's go first step you press mode so i have mode then the second term is second you press number three so i pick number three and then you also click number two so i click on number two now i am having this interface now here we don't have the first term and second term so i cannot press first second term no i can't do that why because the question did not give me the first term instead i have the sixth term and then the eleventh term so you press six and then you press eleven so six you press the equal sign and then eleven you press the equal sign so i have the sixth term and then the eleventh term now what is the corresponding value for the sixth term 
and the question, the sixth term is 23. So I enter 23 on the calculator, then you press is equal to. Okay, okay, so that, that was wrong then. That, we, that shouldn't be happening because we are not looking for the... Okay, so I should have gone up. So let's go, let me go up, yes. So moving the cursor, you go up. Now you come to the right um, side. So what is the value for the sixth term? The sixth term is 23. So I enter 2, 3. Then you press is equal to. Okay, it's equal to. So it is there. And then the 11th term, the corresponding value is 48. So I enter 48. Okay, for the value for the 11th term. Then you press is equal to. So let's be careful here. The question says the sixth term is 23. And the 11th term is 48. On the calculator, 6 term, 23, 11 term, 48. So now we have entered our data, and that is step 2. Now we go to step 3 by pressing AC. Remember once again, once you press the AC, the data automatically has been saved. So the calculator stores the data. Then we press shift. We pick 5 and then 5. Okay, so let's go. So shift here, we press 1. So once again, we are looking for the, um, the n term. So we are using the regression number five. So you pick option five. Now let's explain this uh, uh, briefly. We said earlier that the y cap means the, um, the term you are looking for, okay? Now if you are looking for the n term, then we are going to use the option four, the x cap. So the question says, the six and the 11 term of an AP are 23, and 48. First, find the 20th term. Now, because you are looking for the 20th term, we will pick option 5. Okay, so the step says that you press shift, you select 1, you select 5. Okay, and then, so let's select the number 5. Now, as we did in the earlier instance, we have to use the left arrow key. So we can enter the number 20. So you enter 20, that is 2, 0, entered then you press is equal to. That means in this particular sequence, the 20th term is going to be 93, all right? So 20th term is 93. That is the first part. So we are done and you can easily clear it. So please, the steps, press mode, option three, option two. Then you enter your data. Then after the entering the data, you press AC. And then after AC, the data you have entered will be saved automatically on the calculator. And then you go to shift, you press one, you press five, and then you press five again. Now, the next question says that we should find the nth term. So if the nth term is two, three, three, find the nth term. Now, the data already has been entered. So don't bother yourself repeating entering this data. Once you see this stats, meaning your data is still intact. So you go to shift. After pressing shift, you press one. So I press the number one. Then you press five. I press the number five. Now, if you, this time round, we are not going to use the five because we are looking for the n term. The term has not been given but the corresponding value for the term was given as 233. So this time around, we are using the option four, okay? That's why we said um, four for finding the nth term. If you are looking for a particular term, then you pick five. But once you are looking for the nth term, you are using the option four. So let's pick option four, okay? Now option four is asking you, what is the value for the nth term? In this question, the value for the n term is 233. Three. So once again, use the left arrow key. And then we are going to enter 233 three on the calculator. So 233 three on the calculator. And then you press is equal to. So it means, therefore, that the n term is actually 48. And the value for the 48 is going to be 233. Three. I hope you can follow the steps. Very simple ones and it is doable. You see, one thing about this, kindly subscribe and watch this clip over and over whilst you are preparing yourself. Now, the next question that we're asked to find is actually the sum, okay? So how do we use calculator to find the sum? 
um, of an AP. So question says that we should find the first 20 terms, okay, in that question. Now, once again, our question and the data that we entered is still on the calculator fully saved. So we wouldn't repeat entering the data. Now, to find the sum of an AP, you are going to enter the formula summation x y cap comma 1 comma 20. Now, why do I have this? Question says that find the sum of the first 20 terms. That is from number 1 to number 20. If the question has asked us find the sum of the first 8 terms, the first 8 terms, then we would have entered the 1 and then the 8. But here we are looking for the first 20 terms. That means from the first term to the 20th term. How do we do that? How do we get this on the calculator? You follow this simple, simple steps that we have here. Step one, you press shift and then log A um, base A and log B base A. Now if you look on the calculator, here, this is what we are referring to. We want this sign, this summation, that is summation here. And if you have watched my previous um, edition, we told you what the yellow color means because we want this. So you press shift button and then you press summation. Then you have summation here. The ne next one is the X. X is here. That is red color. And to get the red color, you press alpha and then you press S. So I have pressed alpha here and then X. I have it here. Now the second one is to have comma. Look at the comma. The comma is here. Okay. Comma is here. It is written in ye yellow. And you know, to get this yellow key, you press shift and then you press yellow. It is there. Now, we want, okay, so that is what you are going to do. So let's go. So first, we have our X. The X is there. Now, we have to get the Y cap. Remember, we got the Y cap by pressing shift 155. Five. Do you remember that? Okay, so that's why we have it here. Shift 155. Five. So let's go. So you press shift. You press 1, you press 5, and then 5 again. So Y cap has come. So now X, Y cap, we have it here. Then we want to get this comma. We have done it just some few minutes ago. This is the Y, um, the comma we want, it written in yellow. So you press the shift first, and then you press this, and then you have it there. Then the number 1, so the number 1. And once again, we want the comma to come. So you press shift, and then you press comma. This is the comma, so we have it there. And then the 20, so we have one and two, zero. Then here, you may decide to either close the brackets, or you can decide to enter the equal sign, and you will get your answer. So for the purpose of this education, let's close this, and then enter the equal sign. So it means the first, the sum, of the first 20 terms in the sequence that was given will be 910. I know this is going to be an exciting lesson and you need to take time. Please subscribe and then play the video. It is as simple. This brings us to the end of this presentation.